it's Justin and Bethany and Nala and Kida. Yes, it's you too, I know. We are going to talk about Dreamscapes, downtown it's, Salt Lake. It's downtown. And yeah. so Dreamscapes is, if any of you know what Meow Wolf is in New Mexico, Dreamscapes is Meow Wolf on a, on a small scale. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but hopefully they are happy with that. It's um, a bunch of local artists getting together and creating um, art as an experience. And this was, this was awesome. And all of the products that they used were reused. All of the materials. Okay, were materials. Reused. Yeah, were reused or were given to them. And they were reusing things that would have just gone into the trash. Kita is needy. I don't know if you guys can see her down here. She is needy. Yeah. So Abby found this. Blue, she found it on Instagram. She did. Some of her friends had gone to it and had posted pictures and she was dying to go to it and was going to do this video, but she's, she's working, working on homework. She's doing homework. How you start. They only allow so many people in at the beginning of dreamscapes so you have to wait meaning that there are set times they let groups go through and it's because it's a room to room experience Into there is a picture on the wall that comes. It's like somebody's library, right? Right. We should, probably shouldn't living. tell them too much, but it, yeah, like a living room like or a, a library, room. and there's a picture on the wall that comes to life. Go forth. Partake of the goodness of Dream's case. Oh, for goodness sake. It's kind of a maze to get out of that room. It's kind of a mystery. You have mystery. to find your way through hidden pathways. Right. And you'll see some of those hidden pathways that we go through, but we're not going to exactly tell you because in case maybe this reopens back up. Because yeah, they're trying to, it's a limited time event, but they're trying to get to stay permanent. <laughs> Do you know why? Why? Because that, in my opinion, was the most Instagrammable room and I took pictures of her that she was so excited to post. dark so the pictures were a little harder to take but also this gave this depth of field in the photographs that that allowed me to get amazing shots of the raindrops in the foreground her kind of midway and then the background completely blurred out with bokeh it was i i'm just trying to picture as we walked through i want to say the next room was the one with the mushrooms mm -hmm. and there was weird creatures, creatures. And Olivia looking into the mirror and saying, are we creatures? Something like that. <laughs> yes, dreamscapes definitely made our kids think deeper. <laughs> Creatures. 
the dark room, which Abby looked cool because she was wearing white. Oh, the black light. The black light. I guess it's not glow in the dark, but was it, that was the same. That was the same room with the creatures. You just walked around. You the walked around the corner. Yeah. Um. Octopus's Garden, and they had like a stage that Olivia danced on. Yeah. And you kind of went through, you went through these white streams, and Abby was like, this is a shower curtain, because she found like the one strip that mm -hmm. had the magnets in it. <laughs> yeah, so what she means by streams is there are these things hanging from the ceiling. They had cut strips of right. material hanging from the ceiling that you walked through, so it was kind of like an octopus's garden. out to me was there was a hallway mm -hmm. and it had patterns that were image mapped and projected on to the walls so it gave you this sense of movement or shrinking the room was shrinking and we stood there for the longest time trying to get good shots of this hallway into another room that really hit on black light and used yes so there were these amazing pictures that they used black light to show the images changing right so and the different colors would pop yeah and with the, the light image. change yeah for the sake of her YouTube channel. So. Right, I hope you like it. <laughs> it did smell like bleach in there, so I knew everything was clean. <laughs> set up essentially like a home, like a dining room or a living room, and then they spray painted the whole thing white, and then you were, everyone was allowed four stickers, different colors, mm -hmm. to go and help create color in the room. And people had already created some beautiful stuff. <laughs>
really cool. It that was, was another fun. fun room for Abby to Instagram in. Yeah. And then the last room was, talk about art as an experience, it was kind of life altering, in my opinion. So you walked into this very dark room lit up with black lights, and there was a maze, or a, not a maze, but a, almost a spiral on the floor that you were supposed to follow, like a map. But it was supposed to be kind of inspiring, you were supposed to be thinking about your dreams, and it said, one of them it said, be brave. Um, on the where you were following around. Oh yeah, there the were little sayings on the maze. And then in the middle of it was this. It was a dragon. Dragon. It kind of looked like a tree. It almost. looked like a tree, but when you came around one side of it, there was a dragon, and at the dragon there was little scrap pieces of paper that you were supposed to write your wish on and then hang the, your wish somewhere in the room. So as you walked through the room, there were just, to you, it probably looked like the branches of the tree. It, it, right, that's why I thought it was a tree. It that came off it was of just the main hanging everywhere. part of the room and people were just hanging their wishes and there were, there were hundreds of thousands oh of wishes. It was awesome. This installation was amazing. We'll let you know if we hear anything else about it, but right now it just says that you can't buy online tickets. We're so glad that we're showing you something that you can't do. I know, I'm sorry. But How it was cool. You, Maybe us. you'll get excited about some other art thing well, or this honestly, will help you be creative. Maybe. If you can't do this, then definitely travel to New to New Mexico and do Meow Wolf or when Meow Wolf documentary. <laughs> Meow Wolf documentary is on Netflix, I think. Oh, so there you go. So go watch that. So there you go. That's something you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy seeing what we got to enjoy, and uh, hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and happy. And yeah, don't forget to do all the things that you do, right? Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It means a lot to us, so. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>